What's up, Guiding Bolt fans? This is Nick, and unless you've been living under a rock, you've probably heard of something called Owl Bear Rodeo. This is the coolest thing since sliced bread to uh, grace the DM's toolbox. And if you strive to be the laziest DM you can be, then this is the ultimate website or tool for you. Uh, basically, what this website allows you to do is import maps. Um, and then you can share that map out with your players. There's a fog of war feature. You can create your own tokens and import them in. There's even a dice rolling um, aspect or built-in uh, component to this site, and it's all free. It is an, a, they've done an amazing job with this site, and I can't say I can't say enough good things about it, honestly. Now I'm not actually going to do a video on how to get this set up and use it. Because um, there's plenty of great videos out there already. And really what you primarily, or what most people I assume use this for, is for remote gaming sessions. Because you can host, you can start up a game, um, and then you get a, you can get a link that you can share out with your other players so they can join it remotely. However, it works just as good for your in-house games as it does your remote sessions. And I'm going to show you how I, how I have this set up and how I use it at my house, or at, at my gaming table. So you can see here I have two browsers open right now. And uh, this is just to simulate how I have it set up. So think of these two browser windows as two different screens. The one on the left here, the one with the Owl Bear Rodeo pulled up, think of that as my laptop screen. And then out on the table, I uh, what I've started doing is I have a like 32-inch TV hooked up via HDMI cable, and then I just have the my laptop is extending or has a second display that I have over here on this screen that I'm sharing out my map on. So what you want to do to make this work is we're going to host up a game, we're going to get that link, and then in another browser, we're going to open up the player link over there. So that way we can have, you have your DM screen on one screen, or side here for this example, and then on the other screen is what the players are seeing. And then if the players bring their own like tablets or iPads or whatever they have, you can even do it from an I, like a, a mobile device like an Android or an iPhone. Um, <clears throat> it's not quite as robust there, but it does work. I did test it. Um, so then they can move their tokens around and see the map on there as well. So let's go ahead and me stop rambling and I'll just show you what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and start up this game. We're not going to do a password. And again, I'm not going to go over all the um, what all this is. There's other videos out there on that. But what I'm going to do is load up my map. You can see here that I have a couple of uh, Tomb of Annihilation maps loaded up here. I don't actually do most of my, this is my desktop computer. I usually am doing this from my laptop, so that's where all my actual maps are. But for this example, I have OBS installed here, so it's just easier. <laughs> but we'll go ahead and select that. And that will load the map up here. And just as a quick example, I added a couple of monsters and a couple of uh, PC icons here. And then I even I even created a little fog of war. So this is this is what the DM sees, right? So this would be on my laptop screen. But what you want to do then for your other monitor is you click on the little add a party member down here, and that's going to give you this link to use. Now you have to, at least I had to anyways, you have to do this in a different browser, otherwise it just opens up the other another DM session to the Owl Bear Rodeo. So if you open up another browser, you can basically trick it. So if we go ahead and paste that over here, this would be what the players would see. And this is just, again, this is just awesome. It is super slick. So now you can see here, let me zoom in a little bit so we can get kind of a side-by-side uh, -side comparison here. So this is what my players are seeing now. So I can see here from the DM side that there is a few monsters in this room, and then I can obviously see the you know the rest of the room, the pool of blood and all the snake heads looks really really cool. Over here, all they see is just a big shadow. And you can go, I mean, you can use the fog of war and get really detailed with the parts that you want to shade out and stuff like that. But anyways, so this is what the players would see. Now the players, if they log in via a like an iPad or a mobile device, they can actually move their tokens around if you let them. You can also lock them, but you can allow them to manipulate things like that as well. So for instance, over here, let's uh, this ranger icon. So as I move this on the right hand side, take a look on the left hand screen. You'll see this actually update. So you can see how it just moved over there. So that is really cool. So they can actually move their tokens around on the screen and that will update over on your side, on the DM side. And then obviously you, being the DM, if you wanted to, you can move the monster around and that is going to show up for them. So that's how I use this at my table or at my in-home sessions. This is, it's absolutely amazing. 
Um, I don't have to draw maps anymore. I can load them in here. I don't have to. I still do use some minis, um, but I've started importing and creating my own tokens for the uh, miniatures. You can see here, this is the uh, Wanti Pure Blood that I've loaded in here. So you can create your own tokens and load all those in here so you don't have to use minis. And then obviously the fog of the fog of war aspect is just really cool. So, and then from the, I'll just show you this real quick since we're looking at it. So once they come in here, there's a fire burning here. So it would probably illuminate this room, right? So we can just go ahead and cut out that fog of war and then voila, just like that, it pops up on the other screen. So now they can actually see what's happening in the room. And then the, another cool thing um, is uh, you have all these, I think there's 12 different colors here. You can outline the token in different colors. So what I, I still like to keep track of hit points and stuff on a on a sheet of paper with a pencil. Um, I've, I use D&D Beyond as well sometimes, but I find it just easier to do on a, with pencil and paper. So what I'll do is I'll give each one of these, if there's multiple monsters that are the same type in the room, I'll just give them each a different color outline. And then that way on my piece of paper, I'll just be like T blue, red, orange, yellow, you know, whatever, whatever color you need. So you can have up to 12 different colors here. Um, you can change the size of the token, rotate them, stuff like that. But again, I'm not going to, we're not going to dive too much into that stuff. I just wanted to show you how I do this um, for my home setup. So let's go ahead and uh, we're going to do a brief pause here while I go over to the uh, table and just show you what it looks like there. And then I'll show you it loaded up on an iPad so you can see it working there as well. Okay, so here we are at the table. You can see I got my laptop out in front of me, and then there's also the uh, monitor as well as an iPad. So looking at the laptop screen here, this is the DM screen. You can see right there that there is the uh, kind of the, the shadowy area. So that's the fog of war, which you can see up here is completely black on the monitor that the players would see. Uh, so this is the player screen. So if we remember back to my example on the computer, I actually, I'm running right now now the the DM screen is running in Chrome and then I have Microsoft Edge on the monitor up here on the TV so that's the the two browsers that I'm using shouldn't really matter what browsers you're using but I don't think I mentioned that in the uh, when I was sitting at the computer which ones I was using so I'm sure if you have Safari Chrome Firefox Edge doesn't matter as long as you have two different browsers and then you can see here that I have it loaded up on my iPad as well so this is another another example of what the players would see if they had brought their own their own laptop or mobile device. And as I move this around on here, it should update there as well as it would update on the DM screen as well. So let me just go ahead and grab that icon, move it down to here. And voila, just like that. So that is how I that is how I use a wool bear rodeo at my at my table. So if you have any questions, go ahead and toss it down below. Otherwise, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.